Grade 12 IEBIT UBNOT. Let's first talk about what is an object. So you will write classes or programs which do not have a main method and these are blueprints. Blueprints are a guide for making something or a design or a pattern that can be followed. That's just the meaning of a blueprint in the English dictionary. But that's what an object is. It's a blueprint for making more copies of the object. So objects have got fields and methods. The properties of an object are called its fields or attributes. And fields are just variables that contain data values. And they're also called instance variables. So if we had an example of the friend class, we could have two fields like a name, which would be a string, and an integer called h. Methods. Objects also have methods, and methods do something useful for us. An example would be a constructor, which constructs an object, or an accessor or getter method, which obtains data from an object. Or to change the data in the object, we use a setter or mutator. And here are all the examples of the methods in the friend class. Encapsulation is an important word. I've put a picture of a space capsule here. And basically it means that it's the mechanism of wrapping the data or variables and the code acting on the data or methods together as a single unit. So basically it means that the fields and the methods of the object are wrapped up inside the object. The advantages of encapsulation is that you have total control of the instance variables and you decide how the variables get accessed or changed by the methods you create in the class. The example is again back to the friend class. The fields are name and age and the methods are the constructor, accesses, mutators and toString and they are all encapsulated within the friend class. What does instantiating mean? We use a class, we can use a class to instantiate many objects. And an object which is created from a class, from the object class, is called an instance of a class. In the picture, you see five friends. They are instances of the friend class. A UML diagram is basically the picture on the left here. A minus means that the variables are private and they cannot be seen from outside the class. A plus means the methods are public in this UML. A constructor is the method which instantiates an object and it gives values or assigns values to the fields of an object. And constructors always have the same name as a class. They're the only methods that can start with a capital letter. A method is just a small program designed to act on the object's fields. What does information hiding mean? Well, the instance variables are declared as private, and this means that you can only, that access to them is controlled. You can only access them through the methods. The methods like the gets, the sets, and toString must be used to access the fields in the object. So the information is hidden, and um, it's it's either declared, the fields are declared as private or protected if you are using um, inheritance. What are typed methods? They are methods that return something. They have a type, e.g. an int, double, string, or even many other um, types before the method name. An example, if you have int get size, it will return an integer. And the type can be an object's name too. Void methods are methods that do not return anything, and the method will just have void in front of its name, like the example public void set size int s. A method signature is just the method name followed by its parameters. For example, the println method, println string x. Method overloading. This is when we have two or more methods that have the same name, but if you look at the parameter lists, those are the names of the, the, the 
variables in the brackets after the, the method name, you will see that they have different lists of parameters. So for example, if we have the constructors friend bracket bracket and friend bracket string n comma int a bracket close bracket, that method is overloaded because there are two types of friend methods. Or if you have public void draw and public void draw bracket int x, this method is also overloaded. Method re resolution goes hand in hand with method overloading. It's how Java knows which method to use when there's overloading. And because of what is in the brackets when the method is called, that's how Java knows. So if we have, if we're um, instantiating a new friend class object, friend my friend equals new friend, and in the brackets Justine comma seventeen, there we have used the second constructor on the previous slide because there are two parameters in the brackets. Formal parameters, these are the ones found in the method header of the actual method. So friend bracket string n comma int a and public void draw int x. These are the formal parameters. And these two methods, of course, we say they are parameterized because they do contain parameters. Arguments or actual parameters. So on the last slide we had formal parameters. Now we have actual parameters. These are the ones found in the call statement of a method. An implicit parameter is when, when an object calls a method like ab.draw. Here the object ab is the implicit parameter and is passed automatically to the draw method. Um, the separation of the interface and engine, you know that there are marks for this in the pad. This is when the working code, where you get data from the database or from a text file, you do calculations, you do manipulation with the data, and then you have the GUI interface, which is what is displayed on the screen and allows your user to do input. These two parts of the code must be in different classes. And the working code must not be in the same class as the interface. So it must be in a separate class. And data gets sent between the interface class and the working code class, or classes, with parameters and typed methods. What does the word static mean? Static methods and fields belong to the class. So a new one of them does not get created each time you make a new class, a new um, object of that class. Static methods do not need an object in order to be used. You declare methods as static when you want to call them from inside the class or from outside the class using class name dot method name. A good example is the math dot random method. It is static because when you call it you say math dot random. You do not have to create a new object of the math class like math bug equals new math. There's no such thing um, because, and then say bug.math, bug.random, that would not make sense. You use math.random because random is a static method. Non-static methods do need an object to be instantiated before they can be called. And the keyword for a non-static method is nothing. There's no keyword. We just go public void method name bracket bracket and they're called using the object name dot method name. So final uh, variables, which is a, co a contradiction, but a, when a variable stores a constant value, it is declared as public static final. And then if it's an integer int tax equals 15, for example, so the variable contains a number which does not change. The variable must be all in capitals and it can be accessed from outside the class as class name dot tax. And an example is math dot pi, which contains the value 3.141592653589793, which is a constant and that is pi in maths.